This just might be the best 3D printer I've ever had. What is it? Well, it's today's video and it's coming up next. All right, what's up everyone? Back at it again. It is DW Darkwing Dad. I wanna thank you for popping in and checking out today's video. If you are new to the channel, before you leave, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Come back and see me. I got a lot more videos on deck for the remainder of this year. But today's video, we are talking about a new printer that I got that just might be the best 3D printer I've ever got. So today I'm gonna to be showing you the Flash Forge Adventure 5M. This is a workhorse of a printer that has tons and tons of features and already just from the little bit that I've used it, I am absolutely in love with this machine. So I recently stumbled across this printer because I was looking for a clipper-based printer that was a little bit smaller because I don't have a ton of room left in the Marvel room. Uh, but I wanted something that was quality, that could print fast. And the Adventure 5M pretty much checked all the boxes off all my needs and wants. So without any hesitation, I scooped this printer up and had to put it to the test. Before we get into setting it up and seeing just how well it performs, let me give you an overview of what this printer has to offer. Before we set up the 5M, let's take a look at some of the features it offers. It's a 220 by 220 by 220 all metal core XY design capable of printing up to 600 millimeters per second. It comes equipped with a silent board, auto bed leveling, and a quality PEI flex plate for easy print removal. A high flow direct drive extruder featuring a max temperature of 280 degrees, quick nozzle detach, and dual cooling fan ports. It has a crisp clean color touch LCD screen and Wi-Fi enabled for all those important updates and more. A whole lot of big features packed into one small machine. So the great thing about the 5M is it comes about 90 to 95% assembled, so setup is pretty much a breeze. There's a few guide tubes that we'll need to pop in and we'll need to install the LCD screen in the front. The printer does come with a box of goodies, uh, some bed adhesion promoter, your tools and hardware, some cutters and a throat cleaner for the extruder, a spool rack and some grease for the rails. Before you do anything, you want to remove the screws that have the bed fastened in place. If you don't, you can definitely mess up the machine. They're indicated by these little yellow arrows right here. Use this supplied Allen key to remove those and you're good to go. Next, you can move on into installing your LCD screen. Be very careful when removing the tape off the ribbon cable. The cable plugs into the back. Simply pull down the locking tab and plug it in under the tab. The instructions are a little vague, so the ribbon cable gets plugged in underneath the tab, not on top of it. Once that's in place, you can lock the tab back in and mount the screen as shown. Moving on to the back, you can go ahead and plug your power cord in. You don't have to worry about flipping any voltage selector on this. It'll automatically detect it and do that for you. While you're back there, you can also go ahead and mount your filament holder and then move on into popping in those guide tubes. Remove the compression clip in the filament runout center, pop the tubing in, and then put the clip back in place. Once that's completed, you can go ahead and power up your machine. The machine setup is pretty straightforward and it will remind you to remove all of the packing foam and bed screws if you haven't. Uh, sync it up to your Wi-Fi. At that point, the machine will auto update any required firmware and need to be restarted. Once restarted, it will continue the setup and go through the self calibration and self detect system check, which takes about 10 minutes or so. During this time, the machine will begin calibrating, leveling and preparing to print. After calibration and self-detect is complete, we can heat up the machine and proceed to the filament load sequence. Simply put your filament on the rack, loading it as shown until you cannot push the filament any further. Then select the type of material you're using and click load. The printer will heat up to the required temperature and extrude the filament. At this point, you're good to go with a test print. There are some preloaded files on the printer, so we'll go ahead and do a simple one to ensure everything's set up properly. So nothing too crazy here, just a little test cube, but man, it sure did come out clean and accurate. Uh, and the filament used here is actually Flash Forge's Chameleon Titanium PLA. Really awesome filament, gives a really cool effect. Definitely make sure you check it out. You know, in just a short time setting this printer up here, uh, I'm really impressed with it already right off the bat. Um, just the quality of the flex plate has me pretty impressed. And I love how you do a filament change. I'll show you real quick. Uh, you simply pop out the PTFE tube, snip the filament and go ahead and hit load. Uh, this one way loading sequence reduces wear and tear on the extruder over time without any harsh yanking or pulling. It can definitely help minimize wear and tear on the gears in the system itself. Uh, and it really does help keep the extruder clean every time you print. I'm really impressed with the user interface and menu on the Adventure 5M as it's very easy to operate and navigate through. It tracks hours of printing as well as logs and keeps a history of everything that you've printed. What's really nice is it has onboard tips and tricks along with calibration and tuning features you can do for maintenance on the printer. These features are great as they help keep the machine performing flawlessly. 
This feature to me is priceless, especially for somebody just getting into 3D printing or anyone trying to get the most out of their machine without wasting time doing troubleshooting. Lots of customizable adjustments are available to fit your liking, and I can't say it enough, just a really, really great machine so far. This puppy has been knocking out prints for me at any speed in any settings I throw at it. Comparing it to the same prints off other printers, the 5M range true. I can honestly say overall that this is the best printer I've ever had, and I'm really excited to see just how far I can go with this guy. I already printed a nice little tool holder for it, and what's great is it has convenience add-ons like a camera and LED viewing lights, so I'm pretty pumped to get my hands on those. What's even greater is because of the built-in Wi-Fi, the door is always open to integrate tools like the K-Touch, which I'll be doing a video on later. Overall, I love everything about this little workhorse, and I have no complaints about the Flash Forge Adventure 5M. Now that I've given you the general overview, let me give you my final thoughts and wrap this one up. All right, guys, where they have it, there is a look at the Flash Forge Adventure 5M. Really fantastic printer. You know, I don't need to repeat myself anymore. This thing is absolutely stellar. The speed you're able to print at, the quality you're able to get, it really might be the best 3D printer I've had so far. The only downside to this printer is obviously the build plate volume. Uh, a little bit small. Uh, obviously, Flash Forge does have other models. They have the 5M Pro, which is basically the same machine, just it's fully enclosed. And they have their Guider 3, which is absolutely huge it's a 300 by 300 by i believe 600 but the price on it i i'm not ready to commit to that i might be sleeping on the couch if i go ahead and pick that printer up so you know moving forward i would love to see flash forge maybe offer a 300 by 300 by 300 something along those lines you know and despite its small build plate i i really think all of the features that this printer has it, it's really the best 3d printer i've had so far it's really easy to use uh, the self-check system, the auto leveling, really have had zero issues printing with this at all. I've printed a ton of stuff. A lot of it didn't make the video, but literally no issues whatsoever. So absolutely thrilled with this experience so far. Love the printer and can't wait to see what else FlashForge has for us in the near future. A big hats off to FlashForge for giving me the opportunity to check this printer off. Make sure to look them up on all their social media, their website. Like I said, they have a wide, wide variety of different things in the 3D printing field. That Chameleon Titanium Filament, I just picked some up on Amazon's Prime Day deal. I cannot wait to try it. Super, super cool effect. You're definitely going to be seeing a lot more from me and the FlashForge Adventure 5M in the near future. That's pretty much it for today's video, guys. If you liked it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have a Flash Forge Adventure 5M or a 5M Pro, go ahead and drop me a comment. Let me know any trials and tribulations, some of the projects you've knocked out, and just how great you think it is. Lastly, if you do enjoy all things 3D printing, cosplay, DIY, tutorials, all the stuff I'm doing on the channel here, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I have a long list of videos I'm slowly chopping away at that you're not going to want to miss. And as far as the Adventure 5M, you haven't seen the last of it. I'm going to be doing some future videos with this, uh, comparing Orca Slicer, Cura, Flash Forge's own slicer software, along with adding the camera, some LEDs, integrating the K-Touch, and a lot of other stuff you're not going to want to miss if you've got a 5M of your own. So make sure you click that subscribe button and come back and see me. That's all for this video, guys. Until next time, it's DW out. Later.